What is up, YouTube family? Welcome back to a new video. We're in the gym, and today we're doing something, I, I don't think I've ever done a video like this, but as you guys uh, are following what I'm doing, and I do this like professional, can you say that? Maybe you can say that, I don't really know. I don't see myself as, as a professional, <laughs> but I have been doing this for like six or seven years now. Uh, and uh, there's a lot of questions about how to create content and how do I create my content? What, like, what do I think about? What is like my thumb rules? Uh, like, what rules do I have? What type of videos am I creating and why? And like, what is my idea behind my videos? And that's what I was gonna, gonna try to show you that today. Um, just how I create content. What do you need to do? As, I'm a, as I am a professional. So many times when I get to the gym, many times I have a plan, but many times I don't. And I just like record my own uh, my like my own workouts because I believe that you have to have uh, a mix between where I guide you through something like this is the best exercises for back or this is how you target biceps or this is how you do that and that but then also I really want to show you like how I train and that's why I years ago started with my real and raw videos like the swipe videos and it feels like when it comes to training it feels like swipe videos are really coming back that people love to see swipes, just like when it comes to training. Today, I actually have a plan uh, and I'm gonna record my uh, back session for today. Uh, what you need to have, really convenient to have, is a tripod. Uh, this one is, uh, yeah, you can, you can install it as you like, if you want it higher, lower, if you want to angle it or whatever, have to have when you're creating content because you can't go around putting up your phone, like leaning it against something because you will not have the, the right angles. Maybe for lower body, not for upper body. So you need a tripod. So we're going to go to the first exercise and I'm going to give you uh, next tips. I am training upper body, which means that can't have the tripod too low. I also like to create content in different angles. So I will start with one angle for one set because normally you do at least two sets of one exercise. Then you can move the camera to the next location or angle, uh, not location, angle, uh, to get like the full sight of the exercise and to Instead of just putting the camera in one angle, it gives it more life when you're moving it around and seeing the, the exercise from, dif from different angles, which can also help when you're looking on the form of the exercise. So we're gonna start with one angle and then we're gonna move it. Yes. Jävlar vad snett jag kommer. So for example when you are recording a reel, like I am doing now, I always focus on having more roof and less floor because I will look taller and it just like, it's a much more flattering angle in my opinion and it just looks better for the eye. Uh, and then obviously when you are editing, you can zoom in and zoom out on the, like where you want it to, if you want to highlight it, uh, like when I'm taking on the straps or when you're loading up weights or something like that, then you can like adjust in a better way as well. Um, and if it is a swipe video, 
I will definitely just lower it so you are in the middle of the frame instead of lower on the frame. Uh, and that is basically because when you're editing swipe videos, you can't move like the frame, you can't move it up and down. Otherwise you need to go into, like you need to cut it yourself. Uh, so if you don't want to cut it, it's much better to focus on being in the middle of the frame for swipe videos, for reels, more roof, less floor. So next exercise. The thing when you are recording reels, a thumb rule is to change the frame every two seconds to keep like the, the viewers stuck to the video for as long as you possibly can. Instagram is weird today, we all know that, but still this thumb rule is still something to follow. If you wanna create reels, make them like go fast uh, and change the frame every two seconds. Uh, so the material that you have, you can like, the good thing is that you can use the material as a swipe, but also create a reel from the same material. So use the same material more than once. Work smart, not more. I'm not gonna use it. I hate this one. Make sure you have the right equipment before you record. Men snälla rara. Gud, filmade du det? Jag orkar inte! Nu! Samarbeta i livet. Nu! So, obviously, this takes a lot of time. I'm not gonna lie, like, sometimes when I record, I don't wanna record. Uh, because, like, for a lot of you, you know that the gym is like your therapy and the place where you feel like you can just focus on yourself. Uh, most of, I'm not complaining, but most of the times, I don't have that anymore because I always record. I always have a camera ro rolling and like obviously I take workouts as well without recording and I truly enjoy them so so much because they're rare and I appreciate them so much. But this is th like this takes a lot of time. It's not just coming to the gym and recording something and that's, then just throw it up on Instagram. You need to have a plan and you need to like plan whatever you want to do in the gym to because like obviously I'm here to create content to help people and then I can't just go here and don't have a plan um, so it takes a lot of time so every creator should you should respect every single creator because they I can only speak for myself but I put like I've always put my life into what I do and my time and my effort uh, and it truly takes a lot of time, even though I love creating content, I really do, so don't misunderstand what I'm saying. But yeah, it takes a lot of time and effort to create good content. Uh, we're gonna move the camera a little bit. <laughs> what is going on? Why? Like, can you imagine people that don't know what I'm doing, they're like, what the fuck? Why, why are you sitting like that? Is she farting, pooping? What is she doing? So whenever I'm recording, I'm trying to think exactly what I would do if I was here just to train. Like when I'm taking, out, uh, taking off my jacket or my sweater or pants or like taking off my shoes, every step I take, because that's content that you, that you can use to get like the full picture of the whole like, so you get a vibe. 
of what we, we're doing in the gym, like from when you like walk into the gym until you go, as uh, so you get like the whole, yeah, the whole vibe. And every single, that's why I move the, the frames around so much and the angles is because it's easier to, to edit to something that is more alive than just the camera standing still on one place all the time. Uh, so I'm just trying to, I definitely don't like all the angles. That's how we are. We don't like all angles of ourselves. Uh, sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't. Uh, you just have to find like the angles that you feel comfortable or that you're happy with. Uh, because in the end, it's you that are creating the content and you should definitely feel the vibe of the content yourself before you post it. Uh, we're gonna move to the next exercise. I know I'm really spoiled with the gym with no people uh, because my gym isn't crowded at all uh, and I know that all people don't have that benefit of training when it's less people in the gym and if you want to record without people walking into the camera that can be tricky uh, and as I said like moving angles to angles is good but if you don't have that opportunity, you can still work with zoom in, zoom out for it to always happen something every two seconds. You don't have to move the camera around. Sometimes I just let it be on one place and I work with zooms and zoom in and zoom out. Uh, one thing though I want to highlight uh, is that like from the beginning it wasn't meant to the gym wasn't meant to be a place where we record this has happened over time and i still think it's so important to respect the people around you like i would never ever be angry at someone that accidentally walks into the camera and into the frame i would never because like i I'm there to record, but they are there, there to train. They're in the gym to train, which we all are. It's not normal to have a camera in the gym, even though it is normal today, but we still need to respect our gym members and like the people around you in the gym. You can't be mad at someone walking into the camera. I can be in the gym like any time during the day, but I, I I pick the times when I know it's less people because I don't want to disturb anyone. And you should like give the, the people in the gym, you should give them space. Yeah, I really think it's, it's important to, to highlight this because I see, like I see videos and content too often when people get mad and get annoyed and like hang out people on social medias because they're doing something in the background but you don't like, you're not allowed to, to record anyone that hasn't given you permission to record them. That's something that you need to remember. Uh, and I always, always, always respect the people around me, always. And I, I'm here to record when less people are here. Sometimes no one is here. Yeah, so that's convenient for me, but I know that if you're listening to this and you want to create your own content, and you have a busy gym, yeah, that will be a problem. Um, so you need to be really creative and maybe do workouts in a corner or uh, as long as you just respect people around you or blur them or whatever, because they haven't given you the permission to have, like to be in your frame. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to the next exercise. Oh. It's content, everything is content. <laughs> The more stupid you are, the better. <laughs> Show people. The more, the more you show, you grow. Oh, exactly. Me. 
Nein! Hey. Das ist fucking fertig. Wenn man ska... Här är det bra just. Leta the good light. Lift up your tits. So, as I said before, uh, creating content takes a lot of time. And uh, during my years, I recorded content first, and then I trained, which uh, wasn't really optimal for my own progress. Uh, and also like, when you go, as I did before, I went to the gym and I, I had like days when I recorded content. And these days were not like, they, they were a rest day, but they didn't become a rest day because it was like really, I recorded like four or five videos per day. Uh, not every day, but the days when I rested for my own workouts. And sometimes I also like recorded the same day as I trained, uh, which wasn't, as I said, good for my own progress. Uh, so nowadays I just try to, I record my own workouts and I try to record as long, like I, I record and train in the same time to save time. Because I have business to run, I have my family, I have my, my, my son that I want to like spend time with, obviously. Uh, and it's just really hard to get everything, the puzzle, the life puzzle to, uh, you know? So I'm just trying to be smart with uh, what I do. And that's why I've been starting to record my own videos and like my own videos, my own workouts more because I don't have the time to be in the gym and record contents like I did before. And also, like when I started with this, I posted four times a day, four. Can you, like my life was content. I had nothing else. <laughs> And obviously, that's not the life that I'm living now, so I can't do that anymore. Uh, but it truly was so convenient for my reach and like my growth on Instagram and on YouTube. Uh, but mostly, in this case, Instagram, when I posted four times per day. And uh, speaking of YouTube, we are about 3,000 people, subscribers, from reaching 1 million subscribers on YouTube. That's insane. You guys, that's insane. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about that because I'm gonna start crying as I am really a little sensitive person over here. <laughs> but I truly, truly uh, appreciate every single one of you for being here with me and for doing this together with me for so many years. I'm up, yeah, seven years now with doing content, recording every step I take. So I, I understand when people come to me and say that it feels like I know you, but you don't know me. Because I always like, I've shared my life for seven years, every step. Uh, and I truly, I love my job and I love what I do. Uh, so yeah, I hope this video will help you a little bit if you wanna create your own content. And the first, like the first thing I always, always, always say is to when you want to create your own channel and your own Instagram or YouTube or TikTok or whatever, be yourself. Like that's that's the first ever rule and like the only thing that you should stick to is to be yourself and show people who you are. Um, we have one more exercise left. <laughs> One third of the job is now done, which is recording. Now you have the editing part left, which uh, you can edit everything, but you need to have a red thread between what you have recorded and what you are editing. So now when I come home, I start edit editing what I have been recording, but still with the mindset of what do I want to have, like what is my point of this video and what do I want to show and what do I want to highlight and like just form, forming the whole video to a reel. 
Uh, and then also you have the caption, which many times are so much more important than people think. Like you can obviously upload a video and say nothing and it can go really good. I personally don't like to do that. I like to uh, get my personal touch into the video of what my mindset was when I was training, what my struggles were, what I liked the most, how I felt, if I felt strong, if I felt uh, like I was struggling, whatever. I like to put my mind, like my, my thoughts into the video as well. Uh, so the caption is obviously really important. As you uh, might understand, uh, the man behind the camera is the one rec like recording and editing for YouTube. But for Instagram, I do all my videos myself. Uh, I edit all my videos on either my phone or computer, mostly on my phone because it's easier to move around in, in the house when like Colin is home or when I need to walk Ari or stuff like that. I can't take the computer with me and go with Ari but I can still edit while I like multitasking. That's, that's, how, that's how I do it. Um, and um, that's how I need to do it with my life. <laughs> I really hope that you like this video. Uh, really different video. As I said, we've never done a video like this before where I talk about how I edit. I can also say that now you might wonder if you need to post every single day. Uh, and no, you don't, but you still need to be consistent with your content if you want to grow on Instagram uh, or if you want to grow on TikTok or whatever platform we're talking about. You need to be consistent uh, because you can't post one video and then wait for like a week or three weeks or something like that and then post another one. And as I said in the beginning, like mix your content, like my content that I record in the gym, I mix that together with guides on how to do pull-ups, like do's and don'ts, uh, how I do hip thrusts, with like my life with my family uh, when I do like these uh, uh, outfit videos that I really like how I dress outside the gym really fun as well so I just try to mix these together food also really good to incorporate in this um, and you don't have to post every single day but stay consistent and post at least like I try Monday till Friday and then I have the weekend off but then you can do it as you like and what fits your days. We're done for today. Do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell, so you know this video with my face. Also, if you want to try the own new app you have, the offer is still on with 14 days trial, free trial to try out everything in the app, including my new guide.